Hello producers, it's Özgün here. In this tutorial, I'm gonna finish festival remix track. And if you're ready, let's get into that tutorial. So in this episode, I want to fill the build up parts because they are kind of empty now. So the first thing we can do to hold the chords But I'm gonna lower the filters of them. So for this, I'm gonna make an automation for this cutoff. And also we have to do the same with the Dune as well. Let's move this little guy. So I'm gonna connect them to the same automation by doing this. So. We have to find the cutoff parameter, which is in here highlighted. So I'm going to link the controller, the last automation that I made. So with one automation, I can control two of them. So let's fix the leads cutoff as well in the same part. We already have an automation for this. Let's find where it is. It's right here. So for the bass, I'm thinking to bring the melody crease in the first part. And in here we can tease the drop leads. We are going to need a filter automation for them as well. Let's check if we have it. Let's see if it got an automation. Yes, filter lead mix. Oh yeah, they are here. Okay, I'm gonna make it unique. And then I'm gonna find the root note. Let's get the last note and put it here. Make it unique as sample. I'm gonna go to drop leads, put a new track, not to get mess. I'm gonna make it unique. So I just need one D sharp. So I'm gonna sample it because it's gonna be more easy to automate if there's only one note instead of 10 layers. And I'm gonna consolidate this track like this. So we have a one shot sample of it. And then I'm gonna put it in here, send to same channel as this. We 
we have to make it on stretch mode, put to 12, so it can go up to one octave. And I'm gonna make it like this. Sounds nice. Uh, we need some reverse drop leads as well from here. So for this, I'm gonna again cut the first part, go some empty place, make it solo, and then let's get rid of reverb and delay. Let's send it to here. That should work, so we can just make it normalize and reverse. Then we can use it like this. Oh, I think it's not the right note, so maybe, maybe I can just use the one that I just created. That should work. I didn't turn off the delay and reverb, but I think it's not a big deal. So let's remove the link from here and here, how it sounds. I'm gonna put the big snare in pre-drop. Also, we need some drop fill, I think. I'm gonna use this vengeance fill. Okay, we are going to need some of the background stuff in this part. And maybe this one too, since it's a bit long. So make it too down.
Okay, I find a real long riser. We can use it from starting here. But let's make sure it doesn't contain any of the low frequencies. Okay, let's use this one as well. So this little zip sound from Kashmir would fit to this place, I think. So let's copy the stuff that we just add to the first build-up as well. Not this one, but this one. So this one as well. I'm going to feel this part as well. And also, I'm gonna take the first part of the sample, like this. So with this, I'm making this sound a bit more bigger, a bit more unique, a bit more pleasant. Okay, let's fill this section as well, since it's a bit empty now. We can put the pad in here, maybe just the first chord. Oh, we have to copy this automation to here. And maybe we can make it unique and do something like this.
and we can filter it in. So it's gonna cover the background and the bass frequencies, but still I think we can just give it a reverb. Sounds good. Now let's fill these spaces as well with sounds like this. So for the pads not to get bugged, we have to copy this states to the first part as well. Okay, let's add some something new in the second drop. In this episode, I really want to finish this series. That's why I'm not going to make a different second drop. I want to finish it in this episode. That's why I'm not going to make a completely new drop. But maybe, I don't know, maybe we can add some, some background stuff. Maybe some hovers to keep the things even more interesting in the second part. But if I have time, I will... Definitely try something new on the baseline, and I will change the drop leads a bit, probably. Maybe a side baseline or something like that. That could work. I got really good something in my mind. Okay, let's try something with this sound. I'm gonna send it to drum bass, call it a uh, plug tom.
We just need to hear it with kick and bass to make sure they are fitting nice together. And to make it even more interesting, we can always go do something like this. We can click Ctrl A, no, Alt Q, and then we can choose Swing. So find a good sweet spot and ho let's hope they are sound good with the leads together. In the second part, we can do it one octave down. Okay, let's quickly make intro and outro. Then we can start mixing the track. So for the intro, we just need to copy some parts from the drop. Maybe we can just cut everything like this. And we can just copy them. There will, will be some overlaps. Let's clean them. And let's remove some sounds. Of course, we can tease the droplets, but not in the first part. I will start with the claps. Let's get rid of the not changes. Also, we can get rid of some of the low end from the bot kick and bass. So I think the easiest way is to get a preset like this. So deactivate the last, last band and automate the not frequency. Let's find a good spot first. So I'm gonna automate the drive wet knob of this. And we have to copy the same one to the base. And again, let's link this automation to here. Maybe no automation as well.
we need some reverse vocal for the transition parts. For this, let's find a nice spot. So the transition is always so important. And I think we can give it some reward if I put it in here. I'm thinking if I can use this in somewhere in the intro. I think it's gonna work. I just need some delay. Nice. So let's automate this guy. Okay, the intro is something like this. You just put something from the track that is representing or reminding you from some of the main sounds of the track, but not teasing them all at the same time. And then you can just use all the same drums with your drop. And the outro is like the reverse intro. So in here we are going to need the bass as full power in the first part. So the drums will go on. And also the steps gonna be gone. And the kick should be same as drop because it's the reverse, like just the symmetrical opposite as intro. So I'm just switching, replacing the sides.
I'm gonna make it unique not to get some troubles. <laughs> I think like we can use it as in the intro. And the kick and bass should be same like this i think like we finished the track like the arrangement now i can start mixing it so as you know as you see we already made a mix down we have so much like fixing on so much stuff it's already sound decent but in the production process like all the sounds getting playing on and on and at some point the balances are not that good so all you need to do actually is like wait one or two days when you finish the production and then just go only making for the mix down if you are still adding something in the mix down the final result is not gonna good probably so finish the production and start the mix down this is what i mostly do but at the same time when i produ producing i'm already start making rough mix light mix on the track because then if it's not sound good in the production process i cannot get inspiration from the track that's why i need to that's why in, it needs to sound a bit decent at some point. So, okay, let's say we finished all the production and I rested one or two days and I start mixing the track. So what would I do? What would I start with? I will start with balancing first my drop, kick and bass. I think it's really decent, really sound good. Maybe I can just give the kick a bit more body a bit more punch actually by the way right now i have a limiter let's get rid of that for now Then, like, I, I like this uh, kick and bass, so I need to make sure my break low end is at same power with the drop. A actually, a bit less. So let's try to check the balances from here. I gotta make it detached. So the break base is overpowered. Let's get rid of it. I want to make it a bit more wide and more deep instead of that much distortion. I'm gonna tweak the preset a bit. This is how you made mono and white wrist bases, just detune both of the oscillators just a bit, so you got some white feeling.
I'm even make it more narrow. So let's compare the balances. Maybe no blood overdrive since we have a really solid sound. Then I'm gonna go back to drop and now start mixing the drop. So this curve is needed because I'm lacking of the mids when it's playing one octave up, and but when it's playing one octave down in, in the second part of the drop, it's too much. So I'm thinking maybe I can do like this. Sounds more decent. Maybe we are a bit harsh on the 1k, let's check it. Sounds nice, so let's blend the other synths, like steps.
I wonder if the mid bass is clashing. Let's see. So the tail of the tom is too much. What if I just start a shaper on them? I don't like it, maybe I can use Ozone Imager on them. All sounds good, let's check the noises as well. So it was more than the bass in the span, that's why I just made it lower. good we are clipping at hell but we i don't care it for now because i'm i can just lower it because it's not sound clipping when i clip in several dbs that's fine in dig digital world so
So let's take a look of the vocals. If we have some better quality sample, we could really process it like a pro. Extracted acapellas doesn't offer too much quality, that's why. If, if you boost it or just EQ it, it's gonna be bad because there are not enough frequencies in it. It's lack of beats, that's why. I just wanna boost it several dB to make it more present and probably I'm not gonna use any of the FX. Or maybe the answer. And also I have an idea, I can just uh, go to delay automation in here so if i make if i make the minimum amount in here a bit more so let's see in the delay so we can use the minimum value somewhere around here to get the delay all the time This is really too loud, so it's really easy to mix and balance this kind of sounds in the kick part if you have, because the kick is drop kick and it has the same volume balance from the drop. Let's find where's the kick. Okay, now I'm gonna add an EQ because it's getting louder and it's hard to judge. So I'm gonna put it like this.
what if I put some isotope trash to here? I think the leads are a bit pushed back. I, I like how they sound, but still they can be more present. We can separate the leads from the vocals. So maybe we can start the vocals like this. And at the same time we can lower the leads a bit. Okay, now I'm gonna take a quick listen. I'm gonna 
I think we need some endless smile on the leads. So we can take the drop leads reverb automation. Let's find it. This and some. Let's make it unique. So it can be used something like this. <laughs> So let's add the chords to here. I think we can make them pan left to right. Hmm, let's put the, some of the samples. Hmm. 
Yeah, now I think we can go to the mastering. I'm really happy how it sounds, but I might get really tired. That's why I would wait one or two days before mixing this track. But you get the point. So the first thing I'm gonna do after this EQ. So after this, I will put a glue compressor so you can take this preset. And my aim is go to the loudest parts and just get maybe not more than 4 dB of gain reduction, just to glue the, glue the track. And then I'm gonna boost like 3 decibels. I won't lose any of the volume. So it's good to push several dBs with some kind of glue compressor. And then we can add a maximizer. So I feel like we are lacking of a bit of the presence. So why not we are boosting like the 5k area a bit. Now it's way more better. Mm, let's see if it's good before the compressor. I think after is better. So let's get rid of some of the unwanted side information by doing like this. And then I'm just gonna boost the track. I boost it by clicking holding Alt. If I do it, the Alt will be opposite. So you only hear the limiters work. And after that, let's make it 0 0.1 or something like that. And we are ready to render the track. And okay, let's render the track and hear how it sounds in the final version. Okay guys, let's hear how it sounds with the full track. So I'm gonna mute everything. We can just leave them here.
It's really not bad, I think. There were some parameters to be fixed, like the droplets. When it's playing one octave high, there are some resonating harsh frequencies. So probably they should be just to be fixed. And also the break vocal. And I'm, I'm not happy with some of the, again, resonating frequencies in the top end. Other than that, maybe some volume balances could be better. But I'm really having fun with this track. Would I release it? Probably not, because now it's not my style. I'm morely transitioning to the techno rave music. And end of this month, you will see some of my newest style, newest release. And besides that, I hope this start to finish series is good for you and you can apply the techniques that I used in your productions. So what do you think about the track? You can comment it, give me your opinions about it. Today, that was it, guys. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.